Cisco Device Memory Module What is a memory? Memory is the faculty of the mind by which data or information is encoded, stored, and retrieved when needed. Memory is like a human brain. It is using to store the information and retrieve it whenever it is necessary. How the memory is important for a human being in the same way the memory is very much important for all electronic devices. Every living thing has its own memory. Do I have a memory? Yes. Does my cat has memory? Yes. Does my dog has memory? Yes. Does Cisco devices like router and switches have memory? Of course, yes. Welcome to iRush Academy, an unlimited learning platform. Please subscribe to the channel for more videos. Welcome to CCNA 203.1, Implementing and Administering Cisco Solutions, Chapter Number 9, Cisco Device Memory Modules. In this chapter, we will discuss about the Cisco Device Memory Modules. We will differentiate between flash memory and dynamic memory. And finally, we will discuss about the booting process of Cisco device. Device memory. A memory is just like a human brain. It is used to store the data and instructions. A device memory is an electronic chip that can be installed as a module or integrated as a chip. Device memory is used to store and process the data. Let's see the memory concept of a computer. Depending on the operating system installed, depending on the program installed in a computer, it needs some specific amount of memory. What if a computer using more programs and more features and it is out of its memory? Let's say a computer it's already consumed all of its memory. Now, there is no memory resources available as free to process further. In that situation, computer is using something called the page file. So what is a page file? The page file means the computer have a storage device. It could be an SSD drive or it could be a hard drive. So the computer can convert and utilize some part of the storage and convert that as a memory. That is called the page file. So when a computer is out of its memory, computer can utilize some part of the storage and consider that as a memory. So this memory can manage the extra effort of the computer. So in the case of a computer, even it is out of the memory, it can borrow some memory from the storage in the form of page file and it works well. But what if in case of a router, just consider a Cisco router. In the Cisco router, same like a computer, it has memory modules. So this memory module is necessary for a Cisco router to boot its operating system and enable all the features and process all the functionality, etc. Now what will happen if a router utilizes all of its memory? The concept of a memory in a router is entirely different from a computer. The router doesn't have a concept of page file same like a computer so it cannot borrow any extra memory from the storage so utilization of a memory concept in router it is very strict when compared to a computer when a router's memory is completely utilized then it cannot process any further request that causes the router to reboot and fail to manage its functionality so that's why when we use any Cisco device, any electronic device, whether it can be a router, switches or any device, so we need to use the dedicated memory module in any Cisco device. Depends on the version of the operating system and the features we are using in that device. Now let's talk about the types of memory exist in any Cisco device. There are two types of memory components available inside the Cisco devices. One is the flash memory and another one is dynamic memory. 
What is the difference between a flash memory and dynamic memory? And what is their functionality? Let's discuss. So let's talk about the flash memory. This is a compact memory using in the digital camera and all for the storage purpose. Flash memory is considered as the hard drive of the device. It is used to store the information. It stores the compressed version of IOS. IOS stands for Internet Work Operating System. This is created by Cisco for the Cisco devices. Most of the Cisco devices are using IOS as an operating system. So if you want to manage a Cisco switch or router, you need to learn the Cisco IOS. It's a command based operating system. Basically, when we install the IOS in any Cisco devices, it stores that IOS in a compressed format at the flash memory. And when we switch on the Cisco device, the compressed IOS will start decompressing and move that to the dynamic memory of the Cisco device. Just see the image shown in the screen. This is the image of a booting process of a Cisco device. There we can see a series of hash symbol together. This indicate the process of decompressing the IOS from the flash memory to the dynamic memory. After the decompressing of IOS, all the configuration will be loaded from the dynamic memory. Flash memory are non-volatile memory. It doesn't lose its data when the device shut down. So this is called non-volatile memory. So what is a non-volatile memory? The non-volatile memory means it doesn't lose the data stored in it when the device is switched off. So it is not depend on the power status of the device. So the flash memory is called as non-volatile memory. Now let's talk about the dynamic memory. Dynamic memory is also called DRAM, dynamic random access memory. This is like a memory module in a computer. So let's discuss about the features of a dynamic memory in a Cisco device. DRAM stands for dynamic random access memory. And this is the picture that represents a DRAM. In Cisco device. It is a volatile memory that means it loses the data when the power shut down. So the dynamic memory is mainly using to run the running configuration. So basically the dynamic memory is a real-time memory and we cannot save anything to the dynamic memory because it will lose the data when the device is switched off. The main purpose of a dynamic memory is to use it is as a real-time memory. So let's consider a Cisco device and it has a flash memory and we use this flash memory to store the IOS, the internet network operating system of the Cisco device. And when we switch on the Cisco device, this IOS stored in the flash memory in the form of a compressed image. And when we start the Cisco device, this compressed image decompress and load into the dynamic memory of the Cisco device then it will start working from the dynamic memory. So dynamic memory is the one who manage all the process related to this IOS. And when there is a change in the configuration, we need to save that changes into the flash memory again. Otherwise, it will lose that information when the device is switched off. Next time when the device switch on, we cannot get that configuration changes. So the dynamic RAM stores the running configuration of the Cisco device. Whatever changes we are doing in the running configuration, it is loading into the dynamic memory. So whatever the changes we are doing in running configuration, we need to save that configuration into the startup configuration so that it will store in the flash memory. So next time when the device shut down or reboot, this configuration will stay as it is without any change. Cisco device booting process. Let's talk about the booting process in Cisco device. So as we mentioned before, Every Cisco device has two kinds of memory. One is the flash memory and another one is dynamic memory. When we install the Cisco IOS, it store as a compressed image in the flash memory. And when we switch on the router, this compressed image decompress and load into the dynamic memory. Let's see this decompressing process in a real Cisco device as shown in the screen. So this is the process of decompressing the compressed image from flash memory to the dynamic memory. Once it is decompressed and loaded into the dynamic memory, then it will start working from the dynamic memory. And when we make any changes in the configuration, first it's stored in the dynamic memory. Then we need to save that changes from dynamic memory to flash memory. So the dynamic memory is the one that we store the running configuration and the flash memory is the one that store 
the startup configuration. When we save anything in running configuration, it's stored in the dynamic memory, but this memory is volatile. That means when we switch off the device, whatever the changes we have made, we will lose it. So after making any changes in the running configuration, we must save those changes to the startup configuration that is stored in the flash memory. So that next time when we reboot the system, we will have all the latest configuration. So this is the booting process of a Cisco device with two different kind of configuration. So in this chapter, we have discussed about the Cisco device memory modules. We have differentiated between flash memory and dynamic memory. We have discussed about the booting process of Cisco device. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more videos.